Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Manupatra's webinar series on how to use technology tools for increased efficiency in legal operations. Technology has transformed the legal landscape. It has streamlined process, enhanced access to justice, and reshaped how law is practiced and experienced. Manupatra has been at the forefront of the technological revolution of the legal industry since its inception in 2000. In its aim to always stay relevant, with the technology moving, Manupatra has launched its new suite of SaaS products to assist legal professionals and law students. The idea is to share the use of legal tech tools which would help the lawyers and future lawyers to perform better with the wonders of technology. With this, we begin today's webinar on managing contracts beyond the legal text, a technology-driven approach. What we wanted to focus on here is, as we mentioned earlier, to showcase the many ways the wonders of technology can be utilized to enhance efficiency and streamline process of contract lifecycle management. Let's begin with few pain points of CLM observed across industries. We generally categorize our contract lifecycle management into two facets the creation and post-signature. With creation, all of us have our own set ways of moving the contract draft within our organization and also our preferred terms, clauses, and obligations that we want to be present in the draft to make it truly ours. This, how it confers into reality, is a lot of different versions across emails waiting to be found. Moving on to the signature, post-signature, that means I have an entire contract that I now have to read and understand, but how difficult is it to scroll through and keep flipping, finding the right one, or even to control F and then go to the right one. But then, this then means the ease, the ease of navigation being absent, it means a lot of time and effort is consumed. However, with the CLM tool, this can be changed. How? Through a centralized repository. Let me show you a way of doing that. With my tool, this being the first way as I log in, I go to my repository. And here, I have all my contracts in one single place. This includes the contracts that I was previously a part of and are now concluded, as well as the contracts that are currently going on. At the first view, I only have the basic information about the contract, the name, the start and expiry date, the category it falls into, and the applicable department. However, to make this list make more sense to me as a user, I can add fields to this, include, which include something like a counterparty or a renewal date or jurisdiction even and maybe who uploaded it. And so now this list makes a lot more sense to me. I can now nav easily navigate through this. But exactly how? This is a lot of data. I simply click here and go through the filters that I have. Let's say I want to look at the contracts of sales department, suppose. So I go, I support, I select sales, and then I hit search. Within a within few seconds, I have the entire list of contracts of sales department at my single view. Uh, let's click on a few other things. Let's suppose counterparty. So let's select this one, hit search. There we have all the contracts of one particular counterparty. Uh, let's also let's select it a date range. What about the renewals in this month? I select the particular date that I want, which is renewal. I select the date range and then I hit search. Here, all the renewals in this month are available to me. But is this all that my repository can do? Not at all, people. Here, I also have the option to view the contract in a different manner. Now, scrolling through or flipping through is a lot of task but my repository allows me to view my contract with easy navigation insights. 
these are the different insights my tool has picked up on from my contract. Here, all of these insights are essentially the clauses that are present here. I simply click on one and it takes me there. I click on another, it takes me there. I don't have to scroll, I don't have to control F. I simply have to click. I can also include all the necessary people from here itself. Let's say it's a delivery that I want to be made. And so it is a yearly obligation according to the contract. And I've added the necessary person's and I've added the necessary person's email ID here. I've selected the date range, I've added remarks, and I can and the tool will send the reminder for me. I don't have to personally do it on emails or through a lot of trails, nothing. The tool will send the alert for me. And moving on, I also have for reference the original file with me right here. I can create my overview from here. And my personal favorite is the addendums. Any addendum that I may have can be easily added from right here. I can view this addendum again at this with the same ease of navigation that was otherwise present in my uh, main contract with a click. And there we have it and move on ahead. Along with addendum, there are other documents as well that are important for a contract and are related to it. But how do we keep that? My repository also allows easy upload of those. Through here, I click this icon, I browse for my files, I upload them, and it goes directly into the folder belonging to this particular contract. All of those documents can be accessed from right here with this icon. I click and the document folder opens and it includes the files that I had uploaded previously. Here, not only do I have the main contract, but also folders of the addendums that I had added and any document that I might have related to particularly that particular addendum can be added right here. This allows for ease of organization and managed folders. I don't have to sift through. I don't have to look through. I can. I simply know where to go and find what. In addition to finding the right document, I also have the option to keep trails of these documents. Any document that may be that may be editable can be taken out of the system, updated, and then put back. What this, how this essentially helps me in my daily CLM is any meeting notes that I may have, or meeting minutes, invoices, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, are easily added addable from right here. I simply take it out, I update it, and then I check them back in. The tool keep keeps these trails with date, time, and name format as to who took it out, when, and what time, including the version that they uploaded. The version that they were that was taken out and it was uploaded is right here, maintaining a trail of all the changes made, ensuring that no data is lost. In addition to all of this, my tool also prepares me for my future contracts under these categories. I can simply go and check a list of all the clauses that can be a part of my future contracts should I wish them to. Here, this list allows me to have a one look of all the different clauses that I can include later on if I were to enter into a similar contract. All of these clauses are available to me at Create. Here, I can simply select the category and subcategory and move on with my drafting. Let's say I select business. I then go with the, let's suppose, purchase. And here I add my name, Manupatra. And then I can move on with adding the necessary clauses. I simply select, add, go on ahead, change. I can search. The bit that makes it truly mine are the custom clauses. These are the clauses that are that I have added to the tool and are unique to my organization. This from here, I can add those clauses and from here itself, I can use them. I simply select, I click the arrow and here I find it. My tool also helps me and my team in understanding the role of a particular clause in a contract. If I hover over here, the tool tells me that signature is a clause that carries the details and policy on what shall be a valid signature under the agreement. It goes, my tool goes one step further by telling me that this clause might require added attention as, and I need to be careful. In addition to this, my tool cuts through some of 
this work by allowing me to select different templates if I want, or save this as a template for future reference if I were to make a draft later. The best part here is all of this creation, these clauses, the ease and access is available to me on my MS Word. I simply have the plugin, I can log in, select the categories here as we go, let's say I say specific, and then I go custom, I go again, let's, since we were on business and purchase, let's go business and purchase. And we select those categories and the cost and the clauses will appear. Let's say it's jurisdiction. And so we have the clause. I simply copy this and I paste. It's that easy. I can then send this contract. Once I'm done with it, I can send this contract onto Manu contract. Once it's on my portal, it will be at my drafts, which are available here. With my drafts, once I once they are finalized, I can attach the applicable workflow from here. This workflow allows me to include as many people as I want with a diverse task as I want and assign them their tasks. The contract draft will now flow through this, these many people in this in this order and then culminate into a contract. I also have the option to share this document over an email if I want to. Once I can add the recipients here, I can CC the necessary people here, enter my comment and simply send the draft over an email. This entire progress is available to the seniors in my team through progress contract. They can view the progress on that particular draft and all drafts in the organization from a single screen. They don't have to go through different screens all the information regarding that name, the comments that have been added, where the user is, what state it is, the status, everything is available right here at this particular page. These are color coded, the, the uh, details of which are available here and upon hover. Once I click this, I have the entire flow of a particular draft with name, date and timestamps. This allows me to configure which user took how much time and how and how it flowed through. Now I have now I have this particular uh, draft to move through, and so I know which is which. In addition to this, my tool also ensures that all changes made to a particular draft are saved with draft versions. With this, I have the final document right here. And I have all the previous versions right here for me to see. I can click on any of them and they'll appear. I can view their comments and accordingly know which, which progress was made when. Here, my tool being a technological one includes the latest ranges of electronic signature. Electronic signature are legally valid. And so I have the option to upload my draft onto this tool and simply select the type of signature that I want, whether it is eMudra or DocuSign, enter the recipient's email and their names and simply go through and simply hit request. Here, eMudra is a widely used electronic signature platform in India used by the government itself. This offers KYC-based secure and reliable signature. DocuSign, on the other hand, is an internationally acclaimed signature tool preferred by international customers. My tool's assistance in CLM does not just end here. It also allows me a bird's eye view of all my contract related operations. This includes knowing which contract category I'm at, the different tasks that I have, receivable amount, payable amount, contract risk that I must have uh, mentioned at the time of upload, the counterparties of my contract, counterparty being the other party of the contract, different departments of the contracts, jurisdiction, contract status. It allows me to know which area am I most uh, active in. For example, here with jurisdiction wise, I'm most active in New Delhi. Department wise, my sales department is doing wonders. Uh, with payable amounts, one particular contract is pretty much uh, running me dry and so on and so forth. My personal favorite as this, at this particular screen is this calendar. This allows me one single screen view of all my upcoming obligations and tasks and events. I simply click and I know that this particular draft would are due on this particular date. I also have the option to see my events, 
that I may have added, like for example, here, client A meeting at 4.15 in conference room three. These are all added here. And I can also have a wide view of the same from right here. In addition to all of this, there are reports that I can create. I have access to a range of tools that are Manupatra suite, uh, uh, common across all Manupatra contract uh, tools. And more importantly, the ease of use of CLM. Let's recap now. We went over the pain points and concluded that ultimately not having an online CLM leads to a lot of manual labor effort and a lot of time is consumed. How can we help that? We help that through a centralized repository which keeps all my contracts in one place, allows me to find the relevant contract with few clicks. Remember, I clicked the department counterparty. Uh, then moving on, I also have the option to read my contracts with better navigation with simple clicks. I clicked and the document auto scrolled. Uh, I also have the option to include the necessary people in a particular clause with delivery. I had the details mentioned and Moving on, I had document management where I could find my documents easily with managed folders. And I could also ensure that all the sanctity and security of my document is maintained with version trails maintained right there. I also have the option on my tool to create a contract right there through its vast con clause library that includes my own preferred clauses that I want and also allows me an MS Word familiarity and ease of use. We have been using MS Word since we started using computers. So we get that MS Word is not only familiar, but so comfortable. And hence my tool allows me that comfort and familiarity along with its vast clause library right there. Moving on. Once my draft is done, I can include as many team members as I want. And I can allow them and I can allot them the applicable tasks that they are required to perform, have a diverse process if I were to require it, and also allow my team seniors to keep a oversight over the ongoing progress so that nothing goes awry. With this, I also had the option to maintain drafts versions as they move through the stages to ensure that all versions are maintained. Other things that my tool could do for me is secure access inside into my data, which was my dashboard that I showed you, the, the click reports, e-signature, of course, the alerts and reminders that we had included, and a calendar. To sum up, without a doubt, a CLM tool saves me a lot of time. It reduces the manual effort me and my team put in. It is easy to adapt and become accustomed to. It allows me to gain an insight into my process and operations. And most importantly, it allows the seniors on the team to keep an eye on things going around in the organization. With this, I conclude my presentation and welcome any questions that you may have. Let's go over the chat. Right. The charges for Manu contract, uh, sir, please feel free to scan the QR code and you'll know the required details. Uh, moving on. Signature tools, can we use other signature service providers? That is a very good question. Uh, right now, the only integration that the tool provides is eMudra and uh, DocuSign. If you were, uh, if you want to use other e-signature providers, uh, right now that uh, option is not available, but we can include it and it's, or, or you can take the draft for yourself and have it signed by the preferred signature service provider that you have. Hi, can this tool send out reminders for expiring contracts? Yes. So with expiring contract and reminders, the alert comes, the reminders comes to you uh, in a culminated form at the beginning of the month and on the date of expiry. It will appear in your email as well as on your tool. Moving on, does this tool have AI-based template clause library based on the nature of the contract? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, the clause, let me show you this, actually. Uh, let's go over to my tool. This 
the list that I had mentioned earlier that uh, allows me to see the different clauses that I can include in a future contract of a similar nature. This is AI based. These are suggestive clauses that our AI provides you. So this comes. And add, in addition to this, we also have the option for you to see AI based, AI based clauses right at your uh, creation itself where these templates are AI based. In addition to this, I all, we also provide you the option of uh, seeing which ones are most popular with our users by providing you the details of these kind of clauses. We have 64,000 plus clauses, but at one point of time, you'll only see two because these are the clauses that are currently being mostly used by our other users. So the popular ones are available to you first. Moving ahead. Right. Uh, then moving on to can multiple people review and approve, reject the contract simultaneously? Yes, they can. The workflow, as you as I mentioned, allows you to create as many levels as you want and include as many people as you want. You can keep the same people. You can keep two different people at the same level with the same task. You can also keep the same task at two different levels with two different people. Whichever is your flow, as your personalized flow, you can customize the entire tool as per your preference. Gen AI, is there a use Gen AI in the software? No, that is a bank, no, we don't. Uh, moving ahead, only CLM tool is required for search services? Uh, no, sir, uh, or oh, ma'am. Uh, essentially, what we want to put forward here is that contract lifecycle management though done manually, I'm sure is efficient, is much more easier when done through online tool. In, different, in what manner? In the manner that the labor of manual processes of keeping track, of adding it to the calendar, of adding, keeping it somewhere, keeping it on your Elmira or keeping it in, doc, in different folders and documents on your computer or computers, if there are different teams working on contracts, that is now centralized into one single place for you to sort through. Of course, it's not a necessity, but it is an added boon to your CLM if you were to use a CLM tool. Hi, I could not join earlier. Some link error, give me a recap. Uh, sir, I think we did, uh, ma'am, I did think, I do think we went over a, a short brief uh, recap at the last. If you still have some questions, please let me know. You can also get in touch with us as at these details right here on your screen. Uh, please do get in touch with us if you have any questions or you can also scan the QR code. Is it possible to send the review draft contract to other party, more than one party and the other party's comments included in the contract within CLM? Uh, so uh, with this one, uh, I would like to mention that yes, it is. The workflow as you want will be as diverse as you want, will be as personalized as you want. You only need to assign the task you want to the person you want. You can have as many levels as, as you require and make it as diverse as your process goes. You can have not just review or draft a contract with the other party, but even include members from your team outside their team, have multiple teams from uh, other party on your workflow as you go ahead. Can you please share this PPT with us? It will be very helpful. Uh, we will definitely do so. We will definitely look into it. Does it allow you to redline the agreement? Yes, that is a part of the workflow. As we mentioned previously, those uh, colors that I showed you, that colored bar, those are the different stages that the contract has moved through. So now, as that draft moved through those stages, the people that have worked on it, as they made edited edits, or changes or any additions, all of those are saved in track changes, which in other words are redlining. You can comment there, you can add any additional in, uh, information that you may require and so on and so forth. The entire process is tracked as well for you to see different versions. Can the concluded contract be sent to more than one party online 
for digital signature. Yes, at one at one go, you can send it to three different signatories if you want, which was available at the signature tab. All stakeholders must have Manu contract installed, right? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It's not, you don't have to install it. It's a web-based application. You can access it on your Chrome or uh, Edge or Safari, as whichever one you use. You can simply access it. Can you please share this PPT post so we're not sure? <laughs> Could you tell us about some customers you are already catering to, wanted to understand uh, so that is sensitive information? I'm sorry. Uh, is this tool basically for pre-order drafting phase or can be used for post-order contract administration purposes? So both. The tool allows you both drafting and post-contract and post-contract administration as we go. The drafting you can do from create an MS Word plugin and post-contract administration can come from the tools that are from repository that I showed you where you can upload your added, con added documents, the addendums that you had, you can set alerts, include the, re include the relevant people onto the uh, tasks and so on and so forth. Moving ahead. Is the implementation and deployment of the tool free of contact? Of course, sorry. Uh, for this one, I'm from the legal team, so I would not be, I would, I'm not uh, aware, sure of this, but ma please do get in touch with us, ma'am. Thank you so much for that uh, query. Our details are right here. The QR code is here. Our, someone from our team will get in touch with you. Does it have contract document review features? Yes, it does. Uh, once the draft is moving through the stages, one of the one of the stages that you can assign is review. And the person at the review stage will be able to review the contract and view the entire document and review it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the information. Can you please tell me about some articles or journals which I can refer to understand the relationship between AI and Indian contract law as I am writing a dissertation for the same. Uh, thank you for the word to post. Thank you for the uh, query, actually. Uh, but we are, I'm unable to actually uh, suggest the reading right now. But please do join a, our webinar by, by Professor Kanan Dhru, who is currently at the Haag Netherlands teaching AI and, AI and law. And so she will be able to tell you better about reading material that is relevant to you. Please join us on 29th February at 4. Can PDF versions work here? Because there are so many subscription contracts that we use. Mostly these are bespoke and third-party templates. Yes, PDF, Doc, and DocX versions work absolutely fine with the tool. You can simply upload them and the insights and everything else added to the repository will be available to you without any issues. Editing of any clause is to be done manually or is based on AI. Editing can be as you prefer. You can include omit, remove, or change entirely any clause that you may have. Editing the document, we recommend you do yourself uh, so that the contract is truly yours. What are some differentiating features of Manu contract as compared to other softwares in the market? Uh, right. Uh, so to be very honest, I, for one, am not keeping much tabs on different softwares in the market. Maybe another person on the team can tell you more about it. Please do get in touch with us at email or call or through this QR code and someone from our team will get back to you. Do you have any free trial version to try? Uh, I believe, yes, we do. Uh, please get in touch with us. And once we know more about how you work, how your operation works and so on and so forth, we, be, we would be able to tell you best which version suits you, which version would uh, work for you. If it can be used for post-order contract administration, will this tool be able to draft a letter for me based on the letter received from my client wherein all contracts and provisions can be traced by the AI in the tool? Uh, right now, sir, this is a very good question. I personally really enjoy like this because as a lawyer dealing with the contracts in my organization, I definitely identify with this one. However, right now, our tool is does not allow have this because this is a sensitive data that we don't want to parse. 
but we will look into it if we go forward. And if you have any more queries or if you want to get in touch with us, please do let us know. With the questions on customers, I meant to ask what size of customers you have. Are small law firms able to afford this product's costing? Uh, again, so cost is something that I'm not aware of being from the legal team. However, uh, I do have someone from the sales team who has joined. So please, Disha, you could take this. Yeah. So uh, we understand the question on customers. Uh, by size, we have uh, small as well as large companies. We have everything from motors to pharmaceutical companies uh, as our clients. So um, yeah, it's it's very diverse, and uh, yes, they're definitely able to uh, afford the product. We come, we understand your point because we see a lot of uh, CLMs out there. However, uh, we've kept our costing uh, in line with all our other products and Manupatra has been in the industry for more than 20 years. So we know uh, the lawyer community uh, better, I, we would like to believe. So if you could just reach out to us, you'll be very happy to know that our uh, costing is actually quite uh, pocket friendly pocket friendly or com <laughs> competitive. Can PDF versions work here? Because yes, I believe I have addressed this. Yes, PDF doc and docx work absolutely fine. Is it beneficial to mid-sized companies uh, where the contracts in a month are around 30 to 50? Absolutely. Uh, on my tool itself, although it was not the what tool that I actually use, I uh, had 41 contracts and it was doing absolutely fine for me with regards to all the needs that I had. How editing will happen in PDF documents? Sir, PDF documents oh, is, as we can say, <laughs> cannot be edited. But please, you can use the uh, tool converter and make it into a doc yes. and that, then edit it. We have that tool on, on our, uh, we have that particular converter tool on our CLM. So you can use that. Also, um, maybe not editing, but PDF documents, we can have some uh, value additions to it. Let's say uh, if someone's using their PDF, it's a signed contract for them and um, you want to refer it in the future, you can have your highlighters, your markers and everything. You can uh, extract uh, some very important portions and have it noted in your uh, contested clauses also, which, uh, which, which is a part of the tool. And uh, maybe that's not really editing, but it does help you uh, in your future contracts as well. Moving on, we have uh, track changes would be recorded in PDF. Uh, with regards to this, sir, Till the time the document is still editable, it will remain in doc. And once the document is finalized and signed, it will turn into a PDF in the workflow. Right. So uh, adding to that, the track changes would be uh, visible uh, because it's not yet in the PDF form. Uh, as we usually work on MS Word and my colleague showed you that uh, MS Word has uh, familiarity is there. Even in the tool itself, we have an integration, which is exactly how MS Word works. So the track changes are visible and uh, in the next person in the workflow or, the, or everyone in the tool uh, on the workflow itself will be able to see which changes were made by which person accessing it. Uh, yes, the session in terms of uh, uh, tool knowledge and uh, introduction uh, to CLM, CLM tool online is, is concluded. Complete. Yes, However, we, are, we are very happy to answer questions because we understand that legal tech or uh, technology when it comes to the legal domain is still new, still fresh. And we're very happy to have this uh, series so that we're able to answer as many doubts as possible. As we can see, there are some very interesting questions also which have come up. Sending reviewed copy to counterparty and then if they revert over email, will the changes get captured? So once the copy is sent over email and received over email, our tool does not pass your email at all. Your All your uh, private communication is secure and absolutely away from the tool. So the tool will not be able to capture those comments onto, onto itself. Yes. Uh, additionally, uh, if you've sent your uh, uh, contract via email and you want to have it back on Manu contract, or let's just say that uh, uh, you want to compare the drafts, we uh, there is a oh, compare, yes. compare doc tool as well, which will help you, uh, which will in fact highlight the changes automatically. You will not need any manual labor for that. And uh, that's the most important thing, uh, even as in-house lawyers, that's what we do. We first compare the documents, which uh, which are part of our uh, CLM tool itself. So we don't have to do this manually going line by line. Thank you. Thank you. It was a great session. 
Uh, yes. Does the tool have machine learning features which will keep learning based on my day-to-day -day drafting of contract plan agreement as per my company policy? Uh, with If you were to prefer a certain way of drafting, the tool allows you to set that for yourself. The tool allows you to start a particular clause and set your own templates and so on and so forth. However, so, machine learning is not something, uh, something that we are uh, doing right now. Also, because we are not too sure of how uh, clients will take in the privacy issues when it comes to uh, exposing their contracts to uh, machine learning. Machine learning. So that's a, that's still an area that uh, we're not very comfortable with. That's also based on the kind of uh, 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 feedback we've received. Right. And next time we'll draft as per my risk appetite. So that again is a personal assessment that uh, our users have. So our tool does not automatically evaluate, but does allow you to set that for yourself. Compare tool, can you demonstrate? In fact, we can actually. Yes, definitely. Let's do this. Uh, so on my tool, I have a tool name as compare doc. Hmm. I will simply compare now. I can add a name. So let's say Mano and I choose an attachment. So let's say I include purchase agreement SARS and then I upload another one of the same, of the same let's say do this. And it's a corrupted file. So my tool tells me that it's a corrupt file. Do not use it. So my tool is intelligent enough to tell me that. So let's click on another one. So there we have it. Now these are actually very diff two different documents. This was in an is an article. This was an instruction manual. But if I were to actually keep them the two, the entire thing will I simply have to hit compare. And then immediately the tool will take few seconds and then tell me the differences between the two documents, which here should come a lot since these are entirely two different documents. So it has pretty much highlighted the entire document as having been changed. But imagine if this was two different uh, versions of the same draft, it will take me exactly where the changes are with green and red highlights. So green are the ones that are additional or uh, new to the original draft and uh, red is usually when something has been extracted. Yes. Let's go back. So let's go back here. Will the compare tool work for signed PDF to different signed PDF or one signed PDF? Yes, it will. It will. It will. You can upload everything. PDF and Word either way. Uh, then moving on, how does your tool hold an upper edge over other tools by companies? Again, so from the legal department, please get in touch with us <laughs> regarding this query. And someone from our relevant team will get back to you. You can contact us over email, call or through this QR code. Uh, then moving ahead, how the conf confidentiality of an individual client and contract entered into is maintained. Like we're sharing, sir, our tool is... Uh, has an online security I can show you right here on the tool. This is the tool itself, but on our landing page, you will see that the applicable and required uh, certifications. certifications are available. We have them. So Microsoft Azure, uh, star level one and so on. So we have all of these certifications that ensure that all of your data that you provide us is completely secure. You do not have to worry about your data security with us. Let's look at few more. Uh, like we are sharing NDA before entering into formal relationship. Oh, it's um, this continuous. Uh, so like we are. Oh, yes, so, definitely. <laughs> the security and privacy is maintained. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, and once the uh, like with the data is encrypted, so even we don't have access at the back end of your of the contracts or the data entered, 
um, that that's always a primary concern given that it's a SaaS module and we're dealing with uh, very sensitive information because contracts are essentially co confidential and that's why it's very difficult for uh, lawyers to part with them or trust another website. So um, it was essential for us to obtain these certifications of security and maintain that uh, any level of security that you're still seeking, uh, we, we try to uh, work on that. Why wouldn't I compare the doc on what instead of your tool? Very good question, sir. Let me answer that. Uh, so to compare that document on Word, sir, that is another screen for you. That is one single tool that will do a single thing for, for you. Just compare the doc. Obviously, the MS Word and all of that would be there. But on our tool, you do not just have access to compare the doc. You have access to a lot more many tools, features, additions, and benefits that the tool provides you that are specifically dedicated to an improved contract lifecycle management experience. So definitely, of course, sir, you can use the compare doc word, uh, on Word, but on my tool, it's a little better. Also, the whole point of a CLM is that you don't have to have uh, different tools or uh, do anything with three, four things. It, nothing should be scattered. So the idea is that, yes, of course, MS Word compared of works perfectly. But when you have your contracts at one place, you are drafting it from there. You are using the repository. You're doing the e-signature also from the same tool. So might as well just put your documents there and compare it within themselves so that you don't have to keep accessing different uh, tabs. Will the compare tool work for tools? Yes, I think we answered this. If I want to compare to Excel sheet, is it possible, especially the SLA? Uh, Excel sheets, no, we no, sir, that is not possible right now, but we are always improving our tool. So in the future, you might just see it. Does it help with obligation tracking? Indeed, it does. Uh, on my tool, I have the option to set the applicable reminders and alerts as I want. I can include as many people from my team as I want, and I can add remarks to them, adding, uh, including the required details. And the tool will send those reminders and alerts to them. So the obligation tracking with that is automatically done through. Will I receive a notification if an agreement stored on the tool is near expiry? Yes, you will. Uh, with expiry and renewals, the tool sends an automated alert at the beginning of the month with a compiled list for the entire month and on the date of said expiry and renewal to your tool and to your email. So you do not have to worry about missing out on that. Additionally, you can set your custom uh, alerts as well. Let's say it's a 25th April uh, expiry that you have. We send you an, uh, uh, a notification or an alert on 1st of April and on 25th. You want to say uh, that I want it on 20th so that I have a five day gap. You can do that as well. So there is an option of customization uh, as well. It's basically all in one. Yes, yes it indeed, indeed it is. You are right. <laughs> if I want to compare two Excel sheets, uh, I think we answered that. Then moving ahead, if I upload a third party contract, can this tool tell me the risks associated? So automatic risk assessment is not something that is done on the tool. Risk assessment is very specific to particular parties and their organizations. So the tool allows you to assess the risk for yourself and, and note that in the tools for all future reference. At the time of upload, a particular dropdown will allow you to select the particular risk that you have. Low, high, medium, critical, upon which you can also add notes as to why you think or, or your organization feels that this particular contract is high risk or low risk. Is Manupatra itself implementing this tool or you have outsourced it implementation to a third party? It is our own. We have in, entirely built this on our own. It's an entire team that has built it. It's all Manupatra. Yeah, there's nothing that has been outsourced except the integrations that we have proper contracts with the vendors. However, uh, everything that is related or on the tool has been uh, done with within the Manupatra team. Yes. So okay. is there a chatbot along with this tool? Currently, there is not. In future, everything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, AI and generative AI making the news, it, that's actually possible. Yes. So, so we believe we've reached to the last of the questions. If there are any more, please do let us know. Or you can also get in touch with us at manucontract at manupatra.com or reach out to us over, over call on these numbers. You can additionally scan this QR code 
to know which is which. Costing is required, sir. Definitely. Uh, please get in touch with us. Uh, this the per concerned team per team member will get in touch with you. Please call us, mail us, or scan this QR code, and you can directly reach us, and we will get back to you shortly. So with this session, thank you, thank you everyone, thank you so much for joining, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you.